all your bars together to get a, a plan for the project. As you can see, I've put uh, people onto all of these activities except the the equipment on the building side. I can actually also move things now into their order by closing all these down so they, they collapse and then putting them into order by moving the activities into the right position. So uh, let me just take this first link. I had a link here. I just want to take this link off here between these two activities and uh, just uh, neutralize the link. And then I'll move things into the right place. The first thing I would do is to perhaps do the groundworks uh, and then I would establish maybe the building site. You can, you can do it in the order you prefer. Uh, then the foundation plinths and when the plinths are finished I'll do the terrain slab. So I just mark this and move it and uh, then uh, the, when the terrain slab is finished I'll put the walls and then slab over the basement. And then you can see things are in their proper order as it were. So uh, perhaps actually I would like to move this building site up to the number one position because maybe that is more logical in a way. Um, and then I can uh, dismantle them again like this and I can think about linking the different activities together. And uh, the, as I said the best way to link activities together is simply to use the predecessors column. So if I just open this like here you can see the predecessors column. I can mark that and I can just move it. You can see the little shadow move it over here for example over to this position here and then I can pull back the curtain uh, just there you can see the predecessors column and then I can put the predecessor in so when the gr building site is uh, established then I can do the groundworks and the predecessors for the groundworks is number one the building site so I can write one and you can see uh, when I click that, that they are linked together and when the groundworks are finished the foundation plinths can be done. So the predecessor to foundation is number three, the groundworks. So I can write three there and you can see they're linked together. And this is the way you could very quickly link things between each other. As you can see I've linked everything together and I have this equipment on site. The whole duration of the project right now is uh, 53.2 days which is this top line here. Uh, I would like this uh, equipment to go all the way through there so I would write here 53.29 days. I click enter and you can see well uh, in which case I have to break this link here. I'm just going to break this link here otherwise the, the project would also go that far. So I can see my new uh, my equipment on site starts here so I have 53.2 uh, days and uh, if I just put zero days on there for a moment or just maybe one day just to see what it looks like we can see that this duration here is 29 and a half so let's use that for the equipment 29.59 29.59 and you can see that the equipment goes through and the project is finished here um, this is basically how you can uh, do the plan we can also use our, cal our um, sigma calculation to bring the figures over for this uh, so uh, because it doesn't bring any costs over. I can put it in a column, uh, insert a column called C for costs and you will find that no costs have come over. That's because this version of sigma doesn't bring the costs over. So you have to copy them manually and the best way to do that is simply to go into sigma again and try and send those over to uh, to uh, to Excel, but I would prefer actually to not to send this one over, but to send the the uh, common file over here, which has all the different prices of the different items, as you can see here. So what you do is you mark this and then go into File and send to Excel, and it's the current page. So it'll go to Excel and an Excel sheet will open up. This is the Excel sheet that's opened up and you can see for each item foundation plinths there are the two the cost price. We, what we're looking for is this one here. If we just mark this column up it's the sales price we want to get into our, our uh, cost column. So for foundations 
I copy these two, not this one, because this is the sum of these two. So I'm just going to copy this here to my clipboard, and then under foundation in my um, MS project, I will put these two in. So I'm going to go into project here, and under foundation, these two, I mark this one and I paste. And you can see they come over. So I have to put them in, in the, into the right uh, place. If I go into this one again, I, I have up walls and we're looking for this and this, not this one, and copy that and then go into 1.4 walls in this one here and that would be the here and I would paste those in there. So they're there. And this is what I do for the rest of the project. Never mind about the colors, you can always get rid of them later on. You can see that the total sum of the project is uh, approximately 1.48 million and this this figure here must correspond to the figure here and it does in this case. So now I can use this for, for my cash flow. Uh, so to, to find the cash flow I would go into project, reports, and then into costs, select, into cash flow, edit, and I'm looking for the months and for, uh, I have the costs here, click OK and select again and you will be able to see here a cash flow showing me the amount of money in each month uh, that is expected to be um, uh, done and you can see the total price here. Um, another thing we can do here is we can uh, actually go in and look at the number of people on site. So we go into uh, project again and into reports we go into uh, workload and select and we can use resource usage and edit and down here we can choose either weeks or months or days if you want to see the number of people on site per week you're looking at resources per week and we need to use this word called peak units and when we click OK to that and select again we will see here a schedule that shows the different categories of workers, concreters working on the different items, building components. We have bricklayers working on the site and laborers working on excavation. And the number per week, the total number per week. So we can use this to design our building site cabins so people have a place to eat and uh, change clothes and have shower and so on after work. So this is how we actually transfer MS project directly to our um, well we can trans transfer our Sigma calculation directly to MS project and use it.